What's going on everyone? We're back out with some more Stray Kids. This is from their new five star album. This one is called DLC Video. And they just dropped this one, I think a couple days ago, maybe yesterday. This one should be crazy, man. Obviously Stray Kids dropping some mad K-pop music recently. So let's get straight to it, man. Hit that subscribe button. Check out my Patreon as well for more content. Let's get it. We're only going to dance like crazy. It just did that like you, la la la. Nobody, hey. nobody, hey. just don't care about me. It's okay, let's go crazy until the sunrise. Don't be up to try to hear chill. I'm just gonna get out of my life, so okay. But I'm eating that I gotta see, and I don't like a change of cooking. I'm going to say something, Jagger Boy. So I, I actually like this a lot, guys. I love this beat. The Stray Kids song S Class was my favorite from the from the newest album, but a few of the other songs I listened to are a little bit kind of more singing and more kind of slow slow feel. This one I like; it's more upbeat. I like the whole kind of like you know almost rapping type vibe. Let's get it, guys. It's like more of a pop song. That's some crazy, almost, you know, hip hop dancing that's go going on here on the middle of the street, guys. So it looks like they're in Paris. They have, I think Stray Kids out of all K-pop you know, artists that I've reacted to, they have the most Western type vibes to their music, guys. They have the most Western type feel to their songs. So <clears throat> when I say that, I mean like a lot of their music feels like very, very Western. There's no, you know, there's not a lot of Korean influence. Obviously their accents and, you know, the way they speak and everything like that. And they do speak mostly in Korean language. But Stray Kids to me is the most Western type music. It almost reminds me of sometimes Westlife. I said in the last song, it reminded me of like an old kind of movie type thing, you know, old eighties movie or whatever. LA Noir, like a type of that, you know, black and white type theme. So yeah, something like that. Let's keep it going. <laughs> I like that. That's probably the best part of the song for me. Let's go crazy until the sunrise. I like that kind of interlude, that kind of hook that they have, because it's just it just sounds a lot more upbeat. This almost may be as good as the song, you know, S Class. This might be almost as good as that song, guys. In my personal opinion. <laughs> Looks like he gets a lot of his influence from Michael Jackson, just like the moves that he's doing, this guy right here, even the clothes that he's wearing, very similar to Michael Jackson, you know, who's like the king of music. This guy.
was amazing, guys. That might be... I might piss off a lot of people. That's probably my favorite song off the album that I've listened to so far. The S-Class song was good, <clears throat> but the music video almost takes away from the music. You know, this one was like authentic music video. You know, they're just going around Paris, running around, having a good time. The S-Class video was like they're in some sort of like Fast and Furious type movie. You know, it was just like ostentatious, super over the top, which it was meant to be. But yeah, it just kind of takes away a little bit from the music. But yeah, Stray Kids DCL video. That's my favorite song off the album so far. Tell me in the comments down below what you think. A lot of Western influences there. You know, a lot more so than a lot of other K-pop music, which is kind of cool to see. I love you guys all, man. The best part was definitely the hook. Yeah, that, that hook was fire. I love the whole drum and bass drop as well. Yeah, overall, I think Stray Kids are amazing when it comes to K-pop music. They're, just, they're definitely one of the best ever. So, I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.